the police chief in LA is wondering why this shooting has caused so much outrage and so um, Chief Charlie Beck I'm saying that you guys need to know when to use deadly force in this incident 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 here I don't think that deadly force was necessary um, cops have tasers and when you hear somebody is threatening with a deadly weapon uh, you know stick pipe knife I mean you need to taste the guy in there to taste the guy or distract him somebody running and grab him and disarm the guy I mean these cops want to go back home to the families and let every citizen have an opportunity to go back to the families the person might be distraught they might be mentally ill whatever they're not necessarily trying to kill you and I know that probably you figure that um, trying to kill somebody else means that you could also kill them and, and in some instances it's, it's okay but here this guy has a knife and you say he's approaching you you have enough time to shoot him in his foot shoot him in his hand to do a variety of things move back move all the way go behind a car you know run and grab him you know all this kind of stuff so i guess some folks like the idea that as soon as somebody look a little threatening i'm gonna kill him because they could walk rarely they're gonna be charged with murder they can always be seen as in the line of duty and and not necessarily intending to kill the person in a malicious way so with malice so that they, they, they walk but um, it, 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 it gets them they have to go on medication see psychologists get counseling all this stuff I do not want to be a cop because I know to pay big bucks six to five thousand a year but man the stuff you have to do for that check <laughs> I, I am not gonna do it man I'm not gonna be taking people to jail just because somebody want them off the street or I'm not gonna be writing no tickets when the person break the law just to make some quote or just to make some money for my check it's better I leave man I'm not gonna do that and so some people they do something wrong and yes the authorities who ordered the wrong will also be suffering the consequences but you know your, your conscience bro just imagine you going to church and you sing and praise the Lord and everything like that and you know your job is that you got to be breaking the law I mean you know so in this case here I think that they should have tasted this guy or be patient you know talk the guy out of it not as soon as a cop come and he say you know drop it and if you don't drop it you can gun him down I mean if you're busy uh, if you don't have enough cops in the city or whatever well you know you do what you think you need to do and then the people gonna do what they think they need to do so in my view to have peace all around is you know come out there expecting a long haul and do incremental things I mean if you taste him and he's strong enough that he can resist the faults and he's still you know going on well maybe you go to the next level over the baton before you would baton at him hit him across his foot or the next one hit him across and you know, I mean there are a lot of non-lethal ways uh, uh, this diffusing situations and I believe that this is one that this guy shouldn't have died he should have been able to you know you know take him someplace and tank out or whatever his problem deal with it and, and, and let him live man